Now I've really come to like the clear cases from Casetify, the, specifically this Casetify Impact case. They handle very well, can take a hit, and if you really wanted to, you can get stuff printed on them. Logo! I'll be honest with you, I have no idea why it's taking me this long to review them. Like it just, yeah. At Mobile Reviews, a Monty and I base our reviews on actual usage. I don't know how many different ways I can explain that. We use them and then we review them. The Caseify Impact cases fit your iPhone well. The edges are super tight, which keeps dust and debris out. Why? Because I consider these cases as three layer cases. You know, polycarbon back and two layers of a plastic TPU. And most of those cases have very rigid corners. The case to find ones feel a little looser from my perspective. This case doesn't have oversized corners like some of the previous cases I've recently reviewed, but the lip along the top and bottom edge on the outside of the case extends out slightly to minimize the potential scratching on the back, which is a good thing if you've got a fancy printed one. The case won't slide around easily on the front or the back, and the case won't add much bulk to your iPhone. In terms of general wear and tear, the case edges are gonna wear well over time. It's just plastic, so you drop it, it's gonna scuff up a little bit, Unlike, you know, polycarbonate cases where you drop it and it's just gonna go Pfft. However, the clear back will scratch quite easily actually from coins, which isn't great. Though oddly enough, the prints on the back of the case can handle scratching quite well. It's definitely tougher than just the clear part. Now this video is part of the isolation video series. If you are thinking about getting your own case to fly case, make sure you use my link. It gives you 15% off, which is pretty good considering that these are not cheap cases. The overall texture of the case is quite nice. Now, if you've been with me long enough, you'll know that I'm really not a big fan of clear TPU cases, mostly because the texture is just way too aggressive. But on these case to black cases, specifically these printed ones, um, the back, the prints actually offset that stickiness a bit. So it's kind of this nice balance between sticky and then something that's not polycarbonate. Like it's just, there's enough finish on the prints that just, it makes a small difference. When it comes to using my iPhone in the case, I had no issues with it. Buttons work well, ports and camera cutouts are large enough that didn't cause me any grief and the edges of the case do not get in the way of screen access or screen protectors. One-handed usage with this product is surprisingly good, even with this giant 11 Pro Max. I will note that Caseify's Ultra Impact case <laughs> handles even better because of these giant corners. And yes, I'll be doing a review on this very, very soon. And when it comes to protection, the Caseify Impact is made from a material called G-Tech. Apparently it provides the iPhone with drop protection up to 6.6 .6 feet. From my perspective, the edges of this case are going to easily protect your phone from 6.6 .6 feet drops, but the front face drops might be an issue. As I said earlier, the case edges are mildly looser, so a face drop at a shallow angle might be fatal to your iPhone screen. Might be. So that's all I got for this video. Consider getting your stuff through my Amazon links, unsponsored channel, though Caseify was awesome enough to send me stuff with my logo on it. Like this is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> if you are planning on getting one of these cases, do you use my link as I think I get 15% off, which is pretty sweet given that these cases are around 50 bucks. So it nets you seven dollars, seven and a half dollars off, which makes these cases actually quite affordable, 30 something dollars, which is way better than that piece of crap uh, SCF case that you could get for 60. First time watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe, producing content once a day during this isolation period. It's kind of all I got. Monty's yellow tie, yay. Case to fire, case to fire. I like case to fire. Saying case so much that they're doing this video. Turns these $45, $50 cases into $30 cases, which is, Nope, that math doesn't work. Math is hard. I heard something crunchy and thought my iPhone had broken. No, it's just a Chrome. <laughs>